Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For everybody who doesn't know me, my name is Mechland. For everybody else, welcome back. Uh, so, like the title says, we're gonna play with the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. This is how she looks like and she's beautiful. So the first shade we're gonna use is the shade Confident Other Palette and I'm gonna use an angle brush to start the makeup look. So basically what you wanna do first is map out your crease basically. So just dip into the palette and map out your crease and then after you can go back and make it more prominent make it more like uh, darker basically make the shade more darker i just want to say the shades are beautiful in the palette and also really through the color and also there's like no kickback i forgot how easy it is to use a more high-end makeup palette you guys know I, I use a lot of colourpop palettes and this one i was just surprised that's something that bothers me but i was just surprised and yeah the shades are buttery and beautiful so yeah, just map out your crease first with an angle brush and the second shade I'm gonna use is the shade Keep Going and I'm gonna use a like um, they call it a pencil brush it's like a pointy brush and I'm just gonna um, go back and forth to my crease line and make it like shaded over make it more blended so it doesn't look too too harsh and it looks like it's blended up into your eyebrows so you just wanna go back and forth basically and it should just do it by itself it's not hard to do honestly so just shade 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 back and forth and you'll see it will just blend by itself it's really really easy so here we're just going back into the shade confident and i'm going to use the same brush that i used before i'm just going back and mapping out my crease again just to make it more like going back to the darkness into the brown shade so you can actually see it and it has like contrast basically because with the shading and the blending it just you kind of lose a bit of the pigment and with the same shade again i'm going to start and with the same brush i'm going to start by doing some kind of a wing liner with the eyeshadow so this is what is going to create the kind of wing effect of our makeup look and here you just want to go a bit under your crease but you still follow the same line as your where you cut your crease basically and you can just go back into it and make it as dark as you would like so again first you just do like a wing liner with eyeshadow as we probably done before and then after you just want to go a bit under the cut crease where you cut your crease and map out your brown line just right under the cut crease and it should look something like this and next I'm going back with my pencil brush and I'm just going to I dab a little bit into the shade again and I just want to like smoke out the winged liner the wing like part of the makeup look and just add a bit of darkness into the wing part and it's the same shade again the shade confident from the huda palette you can always just tap it or shade it it's up to you so next shade i'm going to use is shade limitless i'm just going to use a um actually a smudger brush you guys can see like it wasn't picking up the the shade because it's so creamy so i just ended up using my fingers and this is what it looks like guys this shade is just so beautiful i was so impressed i was just like that shade is so reflective so pigmented and with your fingers it just looks incredible yeah 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 this is how the shade looks like it's just so beautiful so reflective i know what she said that maybe there's real gold in it that's why it's so creamy i don't know what it is but it's so beautiful you can always use a brush to like kind of blend the outer corner with the the lid space and it works pretty really well so anyways the next shade i used was bold moves and i used the same kind of brush that i used before a smudger brush just to put into the inner corner to have some kind of like to open the eye a little bit and well, this shade worked really well with a with a brush, so it's no problem. And here I'm just gonna put the same shade into our like a negative space in between the liner and the cut crease right here, just a little bit, just so it doesn't it's not just concealer. And here I'm going back into my with my pencil brush and I'm just blending the two shades, basically the brown shade and the gold shade together. You can do tapping motion or go back and forth. And basically this is how it should look like right now see how reflective it is yeah and here I'm just taking off the tape 
so you guys can see how it just looks good and I was just so impressed honestly so here I went ahead and put on some lashes and I did my base makeup um, yeah, I did my base makeup and that's how it looks like and here I'm just going back with the shade confident and the same brush we used in the first in the beginning of the video an angle brush and I'm just smudging out my lower lash line um, you guys know I'm really really sensitive with my eyes um, my eyes are really really sensitive sorry so yeah just smudge as much as you can if you can put some like a dark like a black pencil coal liner on your waterline do it it'll look even more smoky even more intense it will look really beautiful and here I'm just smudging the eyeshadow into my lower lash line and so yeah here you see me struggling because my eyes were going through it but I still continued because the makeup look is just so beautiful I had to continue so anyways after that I went back to the shade bold moves and I just used another angle brush not the same one another one and I'm just gonna put it in the inner corner on my lower lash line just open up the eye a little bit more again and have like some kind of like highlight into the inner corner and here I'm just gonna guys I'm just gonna show you guys how I finish my makeup. So basically I use the Sephora micro, micro smooth powder to take off my bake powder. And yeah, I just use a big like powder brush to just take it off and adds a little bit more coverage also, so just so you guys know. So basically I'm just swiping off my bake ever I had bake before. Um, for mascara, I use my Maybelline Sky High mascara on my lower lashes. This is what I use on my upper lashes also, by the way, if you guys are wondering. And yeah. And here I use the shade MUA in my Morphe blush palette. I think it's the AW blush palette. Everything will be down below in the descrip description box, sorry. Um, yeah, everything I use is down there, so you guys should be able to see. And for highlight, I use my Master Chrome highlight in golden uh molten gold by maybelline i never use highlight anymore but i don't know why this look like like it wanted me to use highlight but i don't know the last time i used highlight honestly and here i went with the amrezy highlight with anastasia just to put on top so it's more reflective and yeah for my lips i use my colourpop lip pencil the first one i use is control and then to fill it in, I use the shade BFF. Basically, it's BFF1. And yeah, this is what I'm using right now to fill in my lips. So to like make it blend a little bit better, so it's more, it lasts a bit longer. And here I'm using my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. You guys, it's always the same combo, honestly. Like, I need to find a new one, but this is what it is for now. And basically you're done. I'm just here doing my hair and making me myself look cute. It's actually one in the morning, but hey, you gotta do it for the video. But yeah, this is what I look like. This is the video. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.